okay so the next step here is since we're done with the an animator and animations next thing is to uh, make the JavaScript and call it something um, let's say animation you can call it whatever you want I'm calling mine animation um, okay why is it not opening okay um, let's right function start we don't need the animation <laughs> well we need to talk uh, talk uh, talk to the animator and work to work to that animator and by uh, uh, typing public bar nm let's call it nm column animator um, this pretty much this is going to let us attach the animator to the script so we can uh, ex have access to the animator next thing is to set one of the animations to true or false so uh, since we call the animator we have to uh, get access to it through the update so anim that set bull parentheses and speech marks is active mm. okay so this is active if you remember um, if we go back to the animator uh, we called it is active now you can name this what whatever you like uh, you can name it open is open um, um, you know make up the name uh, something that uh, you would understand what it is representing uh, these two states so if you go back to the <coughs> scripting so we called it so um, we call the animator through nm and we set its bool which we called it is active then we have to set it to either true or false in this case we have to set it to true so after the speech mark comma and then space if you like and type in true and of course after every uh, line you have to uh, click on the semicolon otherwise you'll have uh, issues of course um, next thing well let's just show you what happens uh, after um, this is pretty much good it should work let's uh, click on uh, play and we should have some kind of animation mm, no we don't because we didn't set the we didn't uh, set the script attach the script to the uh, image so click on image and drag the an, uh, script that we just made and place it onto the uh, image and then where it says anim which is the, our animator drag your animator onto it now as you can see this animator will not uh, attach itself to the script um, I don't know if this is a bug in unity 4.6 but if uh, next to the uh, this uh, animator, so this uh, circle, if you click on it, all your animator animations uh, will pop up. Now, as you can see, I have already made one of the image animators, and I have two animators that's called the same. So let's fix that so we know which animator uh, we're going to attach to it. So just if you click on the an um, animator. And replace its name to let's say uh, image image animation. Let's call it that. 
I believe, yeah. Let's see. If you click on the image again, you click on the circle here, and then um, hmm. it didn't show. Oh, that's so weird. Uh, let's see if we call this an image animation. Ah, oh, look at that. That's weird. Okay, mm, I was totally wrong. I really thought that if you name this, it will name the animation, but I guess it was ask asking for the image that was being animated. That is what we're supposed to add. Hmm, I'm totally sorry about uh, for that. See, I'm not that. Uh, my knowledge is not as good as others, but uh, we make make mix mistake mistakes. So we learn for our own from our own mistakes. So as um, as you can see now, we have attached the I guess image that has been animated uh, under the animator. Um, if that makes any sense. Um, the next thing is to test it out see if it works as you can see it works okay next thing is um, we have to set the animation to stop we don't want it to animate all the time so if you go back to our script uh, to actually let's set it to only animate when we press the key, uh, any of our keys, um, in my case, will be Q. Okay, so we have to bring in the if statement if input that key. Uh, actually, it's get key. key code dot Q in my case I'm gonna use Q you can use any key code you like uh, let's put this in the brackets inside the brackets and save and then go back to the entity engine click on play let's see if it's going to animate automatically no so it's not animating automatically but if you click on the Q button it's going to start animating and if you let go of the Q button it's going to continue animating so we don't want that we want to make it stop when we release the Q button so it's pretty simple just bring um, bring in the else else statement after the if else and then enter and the brackets between the brackets we'll have we we'll just copy this line of code paste it under the if statement and call the true to false and switch it to false and that is pretty much it for that it should work Alright, click on Q, let go of Q, and it's gonna stop. So, animate, stop animation, start animation, stop animation, start animation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you guys have any cool tricks, um, advanced uh, scriptings out there, um, I would love to uh, check them out and uh, test them out. Um, if you have videos, I would like to watch them. Um, and thank you for watching this video. Um, I love to share my knowledge, what I come across, my tricks. And I would also love to uh, see what you guys are up to in your projects. So, um, again, thank you for watching. And uh, see you again in my next videos.